All right, so now we can actually make a room and an actual level. So first things first, move this out of the way. So now you're probably thinking, all right, how do I make a room? All right, where's the room thing? Oh, you could put a box here, but, and then, you know, you scale it. You can do all three, of course. Look, you kind of got a room, but it's not like, you know, it's not really. So how I do it is you literally just click on this. A really cool shortcut. So useful. You hold Alt. You hold left click. Oh, you drag it up. What happens? You get a duplicate. Look at that. You now have two floors. You now have three floors, right? Four floors, five. No, you don't actually. You still have three. Because each time you want to duplicate, you have to let go of Alt and your mouse button. See, if I just, if I'm still holding Alt, I'm not, I'm not duplicating it. But yeah, super useful. So we're not going to have five floors, but we will have two. Except I'm not actually going to keep this as a floor. I'm going to rotate it. And I'm going to make a wall. So now, click on this. A wall is, you know, obviously going to be shorter than that. Just adjust it right to the right size. And now I'm using the keyboard shortcuts, W, E, R, all right, W for the uh, whatever, to move it. So now a really nice shortcut. You see how there's a space here? Instead of being like super anal about it and just like, you know, getting real close and looking at it, you can just click on this and press end. And it automatically snaps it right here for you so useful so i want my room to be maybe starting from here okay you know what i'm gonna make it start here <clears throat> and i want it to be more on this side and you know i'll make it a little longer see too long all right that's good so now you have one wall now we'll use the trick we just learned to duplicate and make another wall. Amazing. And now we just need two more walls, right? Click on this, duplicate. And now you rotate. Oh, why did I just rotate? Not the wall. Rotate. And here we go. You move it so that it aligns up. So now instead of like moving your camera around, going crazy to find the perfect alignment, go over here, perspective. This changes your perspective. <laughs> so you click on top and you can move around this with the right, you hold right click and you know, you just, you move around. So where is this? You see this? These are the walls we have. See? So now to make this align up, you just drag it from here and you can even scale it from here. Insane. So this should be aligned up pretty good. And now I can also duplicate this with the same commands. This is literally just another view, guys. Like, and now, oh my god, amazing. So this does not align perfectly. So what you want to do is you click on this, you move it back, but let's say you want to be super precise, right? I mean, this is pretty much perfect. But if you want it to be smaller increments, because right now it's kind of like doing, it's doing certain increments. See, it's not smooth. It's because this is this thing over here, snap. So if you make it like, you know, 50, right? Look at this, more noticeable if you make, okay, I'll make it super noticeable, 500. Look at this, no accuracy. So you can make it to one, right? Which is the Maybe the smallest. Well, actually, if you're super precise, you can disable it. So now it's smooth. See? So that's that looks pretty good. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? Because it's tutorial level. So now you have a room. But now what? Right? How do you go inside the room? So this is pretty cool too. You click on the same box. All right, 
or maybe you need like a window so you put the box here you're like wait a minute that doesn't do anything right like this this literally doesn't do anything but you go over here brush type additive means the box is basically there you subtract oh, there's a hole look at that so now you just scale it right got a nice little viewing area here for whatever you want uh, I'm just freestyling this, so I don't know how big a window is supposed to be. This looks nice. I think I think it looks nice. Maybe it doesn't look nice. But look, you got a window. So now you just need a door, right? Same thing. I'm not going to walk you through it. Alright. I don't know how I got the cone. You could have a cone door, right? Up to you. So, additive, subtractive. Let's just scale it, dude. Make a door. Oh, you know what I noticed? It touches the floor. So what you do, you do the end key thing again, right? Like that. You don't even have to estimate, you just press end. You got a perfect door. Is this perfect? Is this the perfect door? Nah, I think a door would be thinner. Right? Now, you know what? Actually, I want a wide door. So I can't click on it because it's invisible, basically. So what you do is you find it up here. Here it is. So I think you could rename this, right? Can you rename this? Uh, edit. Rename. So this is door. Yeah. Rename is F2. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to name this invis door. Perfect. So now, if I'm like, oh, how do I feel the door? I click on the invis door. I'm gonna make it wider. All right, nice door. So now you got a door and a window, dude. We're halfway there to wherever we're going. So what's really cool is you right-click, play from here. Oh my god, and you got a nice view. Oh, I almost fell. <laughs> Look at that. So on the next tutorial, I will be showing you guys how to, uh, you know, add more stuff to it, just to make it a little cleaner, right? More details. So stay tuned.